Hey everybody and welcome back to one of my art videos. Today is Inktober day nine. This is a catch up video because I haven't been posting the last three days. Um, I will have uh, day 10, 11, and 12 all in one video for you along with the topic of what does playing catch up mean and how that used to make me feel like even just a year ago. But today I just want to talk about the drawing with you guys and her costume. So today I wanted to draw something that was steampunk theme without it being a very literal steampunk type of outfit. So I went ahead and drew a mad scientist and she has her guinea pig with her in her candy bag. But the guinea pig is not there for experimentation, only to test out the candy that she receives. I really enjoy drawing steampunk and dystopian type of themes, um, especially anything that has to do with science. So I really wanted to work with that today and have an animal incorporated in the drawing in some way. And I really debated going back and forth between something up close and something more like a full illustrated picture. I also wanted to focus on shadow placement for this drawing. Um, what I was actually watching was Cynic, I believe is how you pronounce his channel name. I will link it down below. He had a video about shadows and how to place them and um, in a painting and things like that. So I was actually watching that while I was laying down the shadows, which was good and bad. I have studied how to put down shadows already, but adding that in new information, or at least more information, on top of what I was doing while I was doing it instead of learning that beforehand was kind of a mess. Um, and my shadow, like when I was laying down my inks, it actually took me a lot longer than what I'm used to because I was focusing on what he was saying while trying to apply that in my drawing at the same time. So the inking of this drawing isn't exactly what I normally would do, but I'm glad that it's different because a couple of parts, I wasn't going to ink that way, but I did try it. Like. Um, around her bag strap, where her bag strap and her apron, like the top of her uh, science apron, kind of are together there where her uh, shirt is. It's a lot darker than I intended. Um, and that was just based on the advice that, well, how I interpreted his advice from his video. I think what really helped in the end with the shadows and laying them down was the background that I had put down. Um, I really didn't have any real intention of putting any anything this um, full, I guess, behind her. I was just gonna put like a creepy dead tree, but I decided to kind of do this, almost feels like a big fire, or at least a big leaf pile behind her. And I really wanted to incorporate a lot more orange than I was able to incorporate in the character. But overall, I am excited about this piece, and I really do. This one is definitely one of my favorites. I think this one and day four so far are my favorite ones. Um, let me know which ones that you guys like for sure, because I would love to hear that. And uh, for day 10, 11, and 12, I will have that out soon. And I will probably end up doing two or three more Inktober videos where um, it'll be multiple illustrations in one video. I kind of just feel like the Inktober videos for you guys might be getting a little redundant and I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> so, and there are other videos I want to make for you guys anyway. So I'm going to leave this one here let you guys finish up with some music. Thank you so much to my patrons, Julia and LB. If you're interested in becoming a patron, you can get yourself an original sketch or be part of the sticker of the month club. And you can have your name shout out at the end of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.